Hey guys, Tony Hayes here and in this video, if you stick with me for the next two minutes, I'm going to show you how we can use Keyword Intent more efficiently. This is one of the best free keyword tools that you will ever come across, okay? You can get up to 500 results and it's got pre-built filters. It pulls back results from semantic keywords and I will show you a comparison of how to um, spot that compared to other keyword tools and also i'm going to show you how to use multi-word filtering okay so let's go straight into the tool now i've already done a search here for seo tools okay now before i go into the results from here let's go and have a look at other suggest and you will see a lot of the results that we get from other suggest have got the words seo tools included okay now when we compare that to keyword intent and you come down here you can see that very few of the results have got the words SEO tools within it but these are all semantically related keywords you can see we've got branded keywords we've got um, types of keyword tools etc and that can give you deeper insights into your niches it basically helps you to identify new topics new subtopics new angles new ideas and keywords that you can sprinkle throughout your content okay now let's have a look at some of the filtering that we've got up here you can see it starts always with what we call the wild card that's what gives us these kind of results here and when we click on here you can see that we've got different pre-built filters for questions for best comparison etc etc okay now this is all very cool um, but what we want to do is use the filtering um, very efficiently and one way that we can do that is by using multi keyword filtering so what I'll do is I'll pop over to this um, results that I've gotten here for the word kettle now kettle is a big 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 uh, niche so, so if I come in here you can see I've got 500 results and you can see we've got things about um, kettle diet for beginners kettle diet plans kettle carb um, bread we've got um, breakfast and all these different subtopics now if I want to get really precise what I can do is I can just type in the word diet and you can see here that it instantly it's giving us all the results that have got the word diet in them okay so that can give us immediately those really really targeted accurate keywords that we want to use now if I want to put in here an extra keyword we can do that so we can do multi keyword filtering so I can put in here for example food and you can see that we've got some results that have got both the word diet and the word food okay so that can give you um, an advantage to be able to work quickly without having to keep clicking buttons to do more and more searches but if you want to do more searches what you can do is just simply copy and paste the URL and you can put as many of these tabs open as you want okay I quite often do this um, so that I've got multi campaigns running at one time or multi projects running at one time and what I might want to do is I might want to go into keto diet plan okay so I'll just copy that and I will go over here and I will put in here keto diet plan and here we can put uh, keto for beginners and here we can put in keto bread for example and we can do the searches for each of these now I'll just come back over to this one and wait for that to preload and so here we go we've got all these different subtopics within keto diet plan okay so if you want to create a category for a website or get ideas for multiple pieces of content this is how you would do it quite efficiently and again you can use the multi keyword filtering now what I also notice with this is that when you've got a, a broad sort of search like I've done here for kettle if you start to do the word filtering the word length filtering I should say and you put in here for four words you will start to notice um, that it gives you more of a sort of category level or topic level um, kind of results in here that you can find so you can see things here for meal plans and for breakfast and for um, all different kinds of sort of category level um, keyword phrases that you can use that can give you more ideas that you can just simply open more tabs and dig deeper okay so coming back over here for the keto plan you can see we've got for beginners we've got seven day plans we've got um, vegetarian kettle plans etc etc now let's come over to this one you can see kettle for beginners 
and you can see kettle diet, kettle food list. You've got all different kinds of um, subtopics within that. And again, for kettle bread, you can see this is getting semantically related. It can give you back a lot of results that you might not have thought about otherwise. And it's just very, very quick and efficient and easy to use. Now, this is fantastic for a free keyword tool. And we would really appreciate to get some feedback, some uh, reviews that we can use to help get other people to discover keyword intent as well. If you want to do that, all you have to do is click on the little chat box here and you can submit a review here and we can use that to help get more people to find keyword intent. And don't forget to tell your friends as well. Now, before I go, if you want to get more in-depth training for keyword research and get some free tools, more free tools, then all you have to do is click on the button underneath this video and all you need to do is put in an email address that we can send that information to you. Okay, I've got some free tools for you, SEO tools and checklists and a whole bunch of different things that you will receive via email over the next few days. Okay, there will be nothing to buy from those emails over the next few days. It's just simply an autoresponder that we have set up ahead of time and so that you will get good value each of those emails that come through. Okay, so if you want to get some good stuff, just leave um, an email address with your first name and we will start to send that to you from today. Okay, thank you.